What is going on my super team? Which is Ramsta here with Kirabug and today we're doing some more Pokemon Evolutions boxes openings. What? 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 Huh? Evolutions? What? This isn't Evolutions. No, it's no, Ancient you, Origin. You said it wrong. You. What knows it? Just, okay, here we go. <laughs> Toss this box to the side. I just threw it on the dog. The dog's all like, can <laughs> you? so confused. Can you not? <laughs> well, I can just barely nudge. Like, <laughs> can, can you not? Alright, so what are we open today? Ancient Origins. The remainder of the box that we started the other day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're doing a Guardians Rising giveaway. If you want to have more chances to win, then you can subscribe to Leon Hart and Laughing Pikachu, which is going to be linked in the description below. We're all giving away a box, just one box each on the, each channel over the course of the next three weeks. So if you want to have three chances, sub to all three. If you only want one, well, I guess this, you can sub to one. But basically, subscribe to everybody for your chance to win. And we wish you guys much luck. Uh, so. Guardians Rising is exciting. Are you yes, excited? Yes, it is super exciting. It's it's way better than the, the first set. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, like, I got a lot of Asian Origins boxes, a lot of Evolutions boxes. For some reason, even a lot of Rolling Skies boxes, for some reason, I wasn't incentivized at all to get Sun and Moon boxes just because I didn't really like to show it to Pokemon on top of that, knowing that there's a possibility of pulling a freaking gum shoes. Ugh, like disgusting. three different times, I think. Yeah, we pulled. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. I did get the Ultra Ball in the first attempt, so I was basically done after the first box. Yeah. But Guardians Rising, I'm I'm super excited about. And if you are as well, then you can hashtag Guardians Rising in the comment section below to kind of show your hype for it. Ta -da! Oh, that's not hype at all. Yeah. Um, I've been reading some um, Pokemon TCG like blogs and stuff too, and from my understanding. A lot of the cards in Guardians Rising are much more playable than in the original, like sun, the first Sun and Moon set. Nine Tails. Yes. The Nine Tails is amazing. Yes. There's also something else that's amazing that I can can't think of off the top of the head. Uh, what was it? I don't know. There's a lot. There's a bunch of like really good stuff in there. Um, yeah. I don't play the game as much as she does, but I am in the Pokemon scene. You know, I uh -oh. obviously get the cards and stuff. So when I watch people do unboxings, when I watch, you know stuff online I, I do see the metas so uh, yeah Guardians Rising definitely has a lot more playable stuff than uh, Sun and Moon and I think honestly it just has cooler art and stuff and that's what's I always mean, my, my go-to thing is the yeah, art and I, I liked the Sun and Moon set for certain Pokemon but like overall it was pretty lackluster I think the card that I want to pull specifically is the Ninetales yeah I just like a little Ninetales he's cool I like Alola he, she, lots of things. Yeah, well. <laughs> I just like all their Pokemon. All I'm saying is, is we need it alone, Scyther. I need, Scyther needs some freaking love, man. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not cool at all. No. Scyther needs some love. I feel like ever since the base set days where Scyther had his hollow inside the jungle set, and you know, uh, he had another hollow in the rocket set. After that, it's like no one cares about Scyther for some reason. No. But he's such a cool Pokemon. He's why don't they? Scyther! Scyther! He's a wow. Freaking, he's a freaking ninja. Like, why would you not like that? You almost like choked yourself to death. Yeah. <laughs> to say I, I, I may have done that. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. The real question is will there be a Lugia in this box? In this last. That's set of... what we're going for. I want you guys to hashtag I believe if you think we're going to pull in this video. Ta da! Oh. Uh, that's, man. That's, you're doing it wrong. Uh, there should definitely be some I think, cool arts in this. You know what's funny? I still have my original Ancient Origins box from December. Oh my gosh. The reason why I never opened that one is because when I bought it, it was like one of the last ones I bought before it started going out of print. Well, it went out of print, I think, like January. Um, the reason why I never opened it is because the, the box came in really good condition. I'm talking about it. There's not a single bend on it. There's not a single, like, you know, thing wrong with it. There's no dents. It's just a really, like, it's for example, it's like this box right here. Look how, look how nice this box is. Not a single so pretty. issue with it at all. It's just perfect. And I almost don't want to open it. I know, that's also hurting me as a collector. So because of that, when I got that box from Ancient, from Ancient Origins back in December, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just hold on to this until forever, maybe. And I'm, I keep thinking like, watch one day we're gonna open it. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. That's going right to okay. uh, that's going right to PSA. Oh my gosh. Oh my like, god, this is such good condition. Isn't isn't that a, like one of the most rare cards in this set? It's one of the rare ones. I have it up there actually in a nun uh Really? Yeah, it's where is it? It's up I don't there. Know. It's up there somewhere. Uh over there. 
It's over there. Oh, it's over there, yeah. But this is really nice. This is going, this is getting graded. Wow. This is getting graded. Um, so you already have that one. You can have the other one. What, the other one? I, well, this is gonna go to PSA when it comes back. You know, we can we can figure it out. Okay, okay. okay. Well, actually, I think they're both in good condition. I just never really looked at it. But yeah, this is this and uh, the other one is, is mail, right? Trainer's mail. Um, yeah. The secret rare is in that set. Wow, I can't believe you just pulled that. <laughs> you you can have my other one. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, watch there be a Lugia. Yeah, back when we were saying. <laughs> watch there be a in Lugia. In the original box that you bought. Yeah. The what? It's funny because like when I bought that box, I bought more boxes, so I didn't have to specifically open that one. Yeah. Try to get Lugia, and then and nothing happened. You know what we got? Lots of Tarantars. Yeah. Lots of them. Ta-da! Oh. Oh my god, so ugh. ugh. Freaking Porygon. I do want, uh, let's see. What we pull at Rayquaza? There's, there's a Groudon in here, isn't there? Yes, I think I think there is. I want that. The full art. I need a Groudon. Yeah. What? Why is, what the is that? So what hard is to, going on? Just why? Because I feel like these aren't like restocks. Because the, the theory is, uh, Roaring Skies wasn't a reprint; it was a more restock. Mm. And these are actual reprints. They feel such high. Like I remember when Darius did an unboxing of the initial release of these. He talked about how in good condition all these cards were, and like, Pokemon Company needs to do that more. Our, our camera's flashing, but I think it'll be fine. Um, but if it dies, that's why. Ta-da! Oh, oh hey, okay. nice. Big shout out to Steven. That's, that's, Steven, are you that's watching? Not that bad. Steven, are you in the comments? Maybe we'll send that to him. Hey, we should send it to him. <laughs> it's like last time we sent them to Incineroar that one time. Yeah. This is, dude, these cards are really good condition. What the heck, like, man? What? Is, let me just go ahead and just grab one of these. One of the sleeve chons. Not one of the sleeve chons, one of the. What are my card savers? Savers? Yeah. Let's see. Did I use them all? I don't know. Like, I have Did all, you really? Well, I have all. Holy look, look moly. at this. Look at this. Look Hold at on. that. Look at this, Shadowless Blastoise. Oh. I have a lot, I, I have a lot of classics. Tell him this anymore. Look, Shadowless. Oh. <laughs> Shadowless. Well, oh. these are just regular Charizards. Well, base set regular Charizards. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't, wait. Uh, what are these? Oh yeah, this is a uh, uh, Legendary Collection. Yeah, I got I got some classics working on, trying to get them graded, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Girl, them Shadowless cards though. I know, they're really pretty good. Hey, and a... from Goodwill, like that's what gets me. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm like addicted to Goodwill. What I do is, and I've, I've done videos on my channel opening, stuff like that. I, I will go to Goodwill, because they have a website. Uh, we can buy stuff. It's kind of weird and sketch sketchy to be honest, because it's, it's Goodwill. But I mean, I bought cards on there before that are like really good, you know, condition. Like I, when I bought those, I bought seven cards once, and they were like two base set Charizards, a Blaine's Charizard, one Blaine's Charizard, but one Blaine's Charizard came back as a PSA 10. <laughs> Wow. So it's, that, that still blows my mind. It's it's a risky thing because you can never see the conditions of the cards when you buy them. So it's kind of like okay, either I'm gonna spend a lot or I'm gonna spend a little, uh, depending on what's inside the lot. Or you could buy those mystery lots where they don't even show you what's inside it at all, mm -hmm. and you can get treasure inside it. For all you know, there could be a shadowless first edition Charizard in there one of these days. Yeah, right. I believe. Okay. You never know. This is this is the reasoning he uses to keep buying I, <laughs> like random look, stuff on. It's funny because I was one. I was gonna give up because I bought like three lots before that were really really bad. But then when I got that Charizard lot, I was like, oh, okay, keep trying, don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> and then here I am today. Uh, hey, it's hollow at least. Yeah. All right. Dude, watch you one day start telling me you're gonna start buying like dressers and, or something like oh maybe there's a first edition shadowless charizard in his dresser dude that is a good idea dude no dude no, no. <laughs> like you buy just some the most random objects and they're like there could be a shadowless charizard in yeah there. just to show you guys uh some insight a first edition shadowless charizard as of today in 2017 sells for about 16 to 20 thousand dollars depending on the condition well psa 10 psa 10. Oh, okay and the crazy part is there's people who buy them yeah like it's not one of those things where it's just worth a lot there's people actively on ebay buying it and hunting for them it is the holy grail of cards oh Ugh. this one this one better be a full art i'm sorry it, i mean we'll see uh it's the holy grail of all pokemon cards and if you get a psa 10 charizard uh, Shadowless in first edition, and uh, I'll show you what I mean by Shadowless in a second here when she finishes all her pack. Um, if you get one, it is really valuable, really, really valuable. 
Let me show you yes. what both of these. So, what you got? Is that going to be nice in there? I, th I think I saw something you think at you the saw bottom. Something? Is it Lugia? I think I messed it up. Are we gonna Are we gonna it go for good. Lugia? Is yes. it a Lugia ending? Oh. Oh wait! Sweet, dang it! <laughs> sweet Lugia! I really thought I saw something. This is what I mean by shadowless. See how right here there's no border, and there's a border here. The original cards that were released didn't have an initial border, and this is like a really short run. This is obviously not first edition, but if you get a shadowless with no shadow here, again, this is what the shadow looks like. The first edition stamp, which this is the first edition, this is a Charizard with a first edition stamp, $16,000. And the crazy part is it keeps going up in price. Keeps going up in price. So, yep. so these are some, you know, I got some goodies over here. Look at these, look at these classics, man. Look at these classics. These are all gonna get graded and uh ooh, ooh, go to shadowless cards. Look forward to that by the way, because when we get it back, we're gonna film our reaction yeah, to, like, to like the last scores. Time. I love doing PSA uh, reactions because they're like a lot of fun. I think that's the your favorite type of video to film. It right? is. Because <laughs> it's like the, it gets into the collector inside me. It's really fun to watch with Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know your favorite polls between Sceptile and, and and this. Uh, in the comment section below, let us know your thoughts on everything we discussed. Hashtag Guardians Rising. Subscribe to Leon Hard and Laugh Pikachu. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Up, up. Peace. <laughs>